Hello guys, it's Rad. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Rad Tarot, and this is going to be Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and uh, Virgo Rising weekly tarot reading for March twenty fifth to uh, to March thirty first, two thousand and nineteen. Uh, and as I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you once again that uh, this is going to be a, a general reading for. Uh, Virgo star sign and for that reason uh, this reading is going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with uh, every single different Virgo but should you want more personal touch meaning you know your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot and to give you some predictions for it for uh, its future that is a subject of a private reading and uh, for such you can check out my website uh, which is listed down below in the description of uh, this video and uh, there you can find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings starting from just as little as $12 for the uh, recorded one uh, services and $15 for the uh, live services, live reading services. So that being set aside, <clears throat> Going to the Virgo uh, reading here, the first card that marks the topic for the Virgo suite that is going to be the Knights of Pentacles, uh, followed by the second card, which is the negative approach toward the situation toward the Knights of Pentacles here, which most likely is going to be a person related. That is going to be the Seven of Cups, followed by the uh, third card, which is the positive approach toward the situation. What you Virgo can capitalize on with. Uh, with the topic that will be the two of pentacles and then uh, the last one which is the positive outcome or rather like the outcome of growth should you follow the guidance of tarot here we do have the six of swords so once again uh, knights of pentacles uh, followed by the seven of uh, cups then it is the two of pentacles and the last one that is going to be the seven of swords so uh <clears throat> Virgos this week most likely is going to be related uh, to that person here, uh, youthful on spirit and person who very well knows what they want. So should they interact with you, cooperate with you in any way, romantically or professionally, then this is what that person wants and it is best um, or they are best at doing things slowly and meticulously what i mean is that they like to keep the things simple and whatever actions they do they, that action is always accompanied with a lot of compassion and as well with determination <clears throat> excuse me so this is how you're going to recognize that person through their actions their compassionate actions their determined actions as well either to enthrall your attention you know to make you feel happy or to stir your projects that you're working at your career in another way uh, the knights of pentacles as well may be a, a card asking you to take a break spend time among nature uh, go to a vacation if you uh, if you haven't rest for a quite a while that is because you will need to recharge as this card this point that a an important thing is about to happen in your life that will require your full devotion and attention uh, as well the accompanied card that is going to be the four of uh, ones here formation is passive uh, passive neutrals <clears throat> so the manifestation of this person here here will allow you to further uh, how can I place it I don't know the English word but let's say further solidify an achievement of yours that it is just around the corner so there could be an important detail you're missing well that person is gonna help you recognize that detail and together you are going to fix the detail manner or whatever it is there that is to cause obstructions to you further uh, into the future either career or either relationship wise as well but uh, how can I place it? The appearance of that person will um, tell you or rather like will show you that you have so much more to do in, this, in your current endeavors and in your current achievements and basically you need to roll up your sleeves and start working on them until you don't get the things the way you want to get them. So uh, <clears throat> the second card which is how you should not approach the situation with the appearance of this person here which is the Knight of uh, Pentacles that is going to be the Seven of Cups and the Seven of Cups uh, 
It kind of like incorporates a couple of things uh, in the follow-up of this reading. First of all, uh, you need to recognize that things are to happen slowly, all right? We, especially with the Knights of uh, Pentacles. You can't expect just because this person appeared and things and cooperating with them either career-wise or relationship-wise is going to breed results. Those results ain't going to happen over one night, especially with the Seven of Cups here into this position. So uh, what the cards ask you is not to do anything stupid stupid as well systemize your goals correctly in a sense of that you should not aim for those unrealistic aims and goals which uh, are a follow-up on more sim uh, simplified ones like i said you need to keep with this card the key the thing simple meaning you start um, attending to the smaller um, responsibilities or to the smaller undertakings and once they are finished you go to the uh, to the bigger one and bigger one and so on and so forth uh, as uh, with this uh, with this reading it doesn't look like that you can skip certain steps this is what I'm trying to do so stick to the plan it is uh, what this card is pointing rather than trying you know to once again cut some corners and uh, skip some um, skip some steps along the way the accompanied card here, this is going to be the uh, Page of Swords, <clears throat> the combination, or uh, yeah, the combination, it is a uh, passive neutrals. So uh, with the Page of Swords, it will be easy for you to swipe off the right path, meaning, you know, uh, keeping, uh, keeping your actions according to the plan and think of that you can, I don't know, you know, you can bypass or move among the uh, the drops of water if that is an expression in in, um, in america you know but basically you know cut corners and get away with it with uh, with this combination it is highly unlikely that um doing something unconventional and or and unorthodox so is going to breed much of a results is going to give you any yields <clears throat> here so uh once again with uh, with the page of swords uh it is another confirmation that should you stick to the established plans patterns and follow the uh the strict routine of the uh, knights of pentacles that person which is going to breed it in there uh, in your environment it is highly unlikely that you are going to uh virgos experience any disappointments for example which are to stray you back on the right path uh, <clears throat> So yeah, guys, keep on, uh, when this person steps out at that specific week, you know, take it as an example and uh, stick to the plan that they present to you or stick to the performance that they are exerting and everything should go very, very well. And as I said, plan, that leads us to the third card, which is the Two of Pentacles. So best achievements that can be, uh, that can be reached for throughout the week is when you are rather playful. And uh, it's it's kind of like the, the line or the boundary, it is very thin here. So you got to stick to your plan, but in the same time, you need to allow that plan to be open for additional tasks and additional undertakings, should I say that way. So the plan needs to be something um, attended to the grand scheme of things. What I mean is that, uh, for example, you want to be successful into this project. That's quite, that's that's awesome, you know, that is your plan to be successful. How? Well, that is the matter of the two of pentacles. You got to experiment, you know, you should, you should try th things from different directions, from different angles, and in the same time, you know, keep the things simple. And additionally to that, the two of pentacles um, here asks you to keep how can I place it? Um, always room open for surprises because the two of pentacles is that does point that minor changes is to happen here and there in the environment and it's going to serve you great, great benefit Virgos if you can adopt those changes into your original plan. <clears throat> But also when adopting those changes, you have to be able to systemize them, okay? Not like giving you an example, you have planned to uh, 
date with a certain person, you know, and someone from your past that you will really want to catch up with calls you and you are very excited about that and you say, sure, we're going to catch up without having any idea how you're going to or without taking under consideration that you need to systemize catching up with this old friend and as well dating with your new suitor, for example. So when, when you add a certain change, which is going to be in a great benefit of yours, you need to have an idea, you know, how it's going to be the chain, the string of events, which you're, you will be able to capitalize on, um, on those opportunities, should they say that way. But <clears throat> in general, with the two of uh, pentacles, being playful, being carefree and very detached from failures as well is going to give you great results. Meaning if something doesn't happen from the first try, you know, try it from a slightly different angle. Although it is a, a bit um, kind of like, um, I cannot say impossible, but it's highly unlikely that you are to face a lot of plights throughout the week should you follow uh, or should you cooperate with this person that is marked by the Knight of Pentacles? So Knight of Cups, it is the accompanied card formation is passive friends and it means that uh, simply nothing is going to happen by a chance. The results, I mean, every result that you reach is going to be a, a kind of like the equation of your hard work. So results you, you get, it is not because you had a the luck of the draw, but because you toiled for it. And should you be playful, carefree, it is very likely that with these couple of cards, especially, that you are to find a, a new field you are good at, you know, new field of social circle that you are good at, to enthrall people in there, new ways, how you can be more productive into your career, and so on and so forth. In generally, you are to expand your arsenal of capabilities, either career-wise or either relationship-wise, and that will as well open you open your environment for much more options available and much more uh, opportunities um, as well. So uh, that leads us to the last card, should you follow the guidance of Tarot here, which is at the um, Six of Swords. So at the end of the week, following, cooperating, you know, with this person, meticulously following your plan and uh, leaving it a bit open for, for new additions into it. It seems that you are going to uh, very well define your future in the sense of that um, you are to establish your foreseeable future, meaning there won't be any fears that you will have to face uh, for the future of your relationship or for the future of your career as well. That is because you're gonna sit very well <clears throat> in where you're finding yourself at career-wise and relationship-wise, and you will have pretty good idea, you know, where you are walking toward or what you are striving toward. In either case, uh, with the Six of Swords here as a beneficial card, it means that whatever the outcome of your endeavor is, career or relationship-wise, is going to improve your circumstances and at the very least, it will allow you to be in peace uh, with yourself. The accompanied card, this is the Hangman Formation, is active... Uh, active neutrals here and it looks like that should you be prone more toward moving forward you know rather than um constantly how can i place it constantly trying to borrow time of things uh, which simply doesn't work very well for you it is highly uh, likely here to find new uh, new shores and new fields of conquests uh, meaning that uh, that could be the appearance of some very unorthodox suitor of yours or a person of interest, you know, that usually you wouldn't like uh, such type of uh, guys or girls or whatever you like, you know, but because you have followed the example of this person in the cooperation, kind of like your vision expands and now that uh, particular suitor and a person becomes quite more acceptable than before and why the hell not, you know, why should you not give it a try? Dating or kind of like having a dinner together or going to a cinema is not going to hurt anybody. So just trying out, you know, your new perspective, it is what uh, perspectives, it is what is going to happen at the end. But should uh, this reading regards to you taking a break 
then uh, this break has to be, or you know, taking on a vacation. Uh, that vacation should be completely meant for you to recharge yourself, uh, vitally wise. It is because uh, the problems that you will have to resolve, especially if these problems concern other people, they will they will kind of like get back to you when you come back from this uh, uh, from this resting or from from that vacation. But this time around, you're gonna have a pretty good idea how to resolve them and only your, you know, your actions are going to once again, you know, breed results. You cannot with these cards, you cannot expect that things are going to resolve on uh, their own accord, basically. So that being said, Virgos, this was your weekly tarot reading for March 25th to March 31st, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, uh, this was your general reading for Virgo star sign. And for that reason, the reading is going to resonate in a different way and as well in a different level with every single different Virgo. But if you want... Um, personal touch meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me uh, through tarot and to give you prediction for it for its future that's that is a subject for a personal reading and for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find on the very front page full list of my services as well as their pricing starting from 12 dollars from uh for any record for a, a recorded reading and $15 for a, a live reading. Rod signing up now. See you next time. Bye.